So it's another beautiful morning here in Montana and we are here at Dickey Lake and it's a just a really nice quiet spot and I'm finally gonna get to use this belly boat that I ordered it's a snow bee belly boat and I'm gonna you know float around this lake troll cast a little bit try my hand at some fishing some still waters here in Montana uh, I used to fish like this all the time when I was younger and I haven't done it probably in 20 years so I'm stoked to get on the water and try it out here uh, just getting all suited up and I'll head out on the water. Let's do it. So we finally got the boat set up. It actually wasn't that difficult, but the first time you're doing it, you know, you gotta read the instructions, make sure you're doing it all right. But we got it, it turned out fine, it looks nice. Uh, right now, I'm just launching it into the water here in the lake, and I'm gonna give it kind of a test drive first. I'm not gonna go too far. Just right in this area, cast a few lines and see how the boat does. Uh, super stoked to do this again, so let's get out on the water. Nice little perch on the first cast, oh, and there he goes. <laughs> so I've only been out here for like 15 minutes and right when I got on the water and I was letting my line out, uh, hooked into like a little perch, couldn't believe it. And then ever since then, I've just kind of been trolling back and forth, testing out the boat, getting comfortable, getting used to it and no more fish on so far, but it's beautiful out here, really calm today, not too much wind. And it's nice to be back on a belly boat like this, super cool. All right, back to fishing. So the first float on the Snow Bee Belly Boat was a success. I love that boat actually. I like how you sit kind of up and out of the water about a foot and a half. Really means that when you're casting, you've got a good back cast and you, your fly doesn't hit the water behind you and you can actually drop the fly down. Really nice presentation from that boat. Uh, also the flippers were perfectly fine and it's comfortable sitting in there. So good first float, got a couple of little smallmouth bass. I thought they were perch at first, but uh, one of the locals here told me it was smallmouth. And it's pretty crazy because while you're trolling or casting around this lake, 
it is crystal clear like I was out where I was probably 30 40 feet to the bottom and you can see the bottom just like you can at the shore here so it's a really stunning looking location really nice lake and uh, right now we're just gonna sit down have some lunch and chill for a bit decent float um, caught a little smallmouth there at the end I guess now is a good time as always to tell you guys what gear I'm using so of course I'm using the snow bee float tube and I already talked about this thing I'm loving it so far love sitting this high on the water uh, I've also got the snow bee prestige GXS five weight nine foot fly rod and I've paired it with their Spectre number five six reel and I've got that spooled up with um, some snow bee Spectre 30 foot sinking tip fly line and that's what was able to get my um, my fly really deep there and it worked really well there's like zero line memory on this line so as soon as you cast it out it's nice and straight uh, worked beautifully today and these wading boots that I'm wearing are the eight fans wading boots and they are super comfortable I've been fishing them on rivers and now in this belly boat and I'm loving them they're brand new I can't believe I don't have any blisters Every time I get new boots, I get blisters, but not with these. So I'm, I'm really happy with them so far. If you guys want to learn more about the gear that I'm using, I'll put some links in the description down below so you can check out our full review of all these products and many more. So wish I was catching some bigger fish today to show you guys, but you know, that's how it is sometimes. Maybe we got here a little late in the day, uh, but whatever, it's a really nice day. All right, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever fished from a float tube before. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button because we're coming out with new videos like this all the time. I'm gonna be doing this Montana fly fishing vlog series for a while. So make sure you're subscribed. Until next time, tight lines.